Plays here, back to game another video. How are you guys doing today? Um, I'm be doing well, and um, I'm sorry it's been a delay of the videos. It's been a, it's been a minute, that's for sure. Been super busy, and I want to say yeah, sorry about that. Um, before we, before we start this video, feel free to subscribe. Um, right now, just go hit that button and turn on the post notifications, because then you'll know when I post new videos, and maybe you'll learn something new. So it's, it's great to go look at that. Um, also, feel free to join the Discord. The giveaway ends in about 18 hours. And, um, yeah. Happy Super Bowl Day, by the way. It's, um, it's pretty nice for that. Also, feel free to join the group. I did update the phone deal now. We do have 130 members, so that's dope. It's going, it's going higher. Um, and I sometimes answer this stuff that you guys post in the group also. Just let me know. Um, but, um, yeah. I hope you guys are doing well. It's, um, it's been a minute. And like I said, go join the Discord, go react to that button. We have about, let's see here, 64 people who did react. So we have 64 contesters. And yeah, we do a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. So today we're going to be talking about how to make a glow stick GUI and like how to do a tool that um, kind of what other Vibe games have. And, you know, people kind of want that. That's in a lot of things. I actually was looking forward to getting it and... I was like, that's cool that and 5 nusc or whatever has this. So yes, this is part of the Vibe Game series, so that's what I wanted to tell you too. So first of all, the model's in the description, so go get that. And once you get it, you'll just claim it. It should bring you up to something like this, and you can just grab it in here. And once you have it, load up Roblox Studio, go to your toolbox, go to your inventory, my models, and grab it. There we are. So now I have everything. I'm going to show you how this works. So there is this handle, um, and we're going to talk about everything. It's going to be a folder right here. What we're going to do is we're going to grab everything. So replicated storage, we're going to put that in there, and we're going to ungroup it. Now, then we're going to grab service to service, put that in there, and right-click, ungroup. Now, this goes in service storage, but actually we're going to wait a second because I'm going to show you what you can do. But, so... Uh, let's go over over everything real quick. We're gonna talk about this one real quick. So I have this in server storage because um, if you are doing the game pass now, if you are wanting to do this as a game pass, which I did on my game, and I'll show you how. Um, I have it where in this server strip service, this one is what gives you the thing. So it's gonna grab the game pass ID. Now this is the game pass ID, and if you are trying to make your own. Um, I think I did plenty of tutorials on this, so if you want to go check out the recent Vibe Game series. But let's say over here, you go to your store, grab this, and you go Glow Stick Game Pass. And it's going to be that 9 number right there. Or you can create one, put it on sale, all that jazz. Once you grab that 9 number, put it right here. And so why we have this in Server Script Service and that in Server Storage is that when they start to play the game, when they hit play already, if they own the Game Pass, it will give them the tool. If they don't own the Game Pass, they won't have the tool. So I recommend doing that. If you don't want that, you want everyone to have this tool, just grab this, put it in Starter Pack. There you go. Simple as that. So yeah, that's the Game Pass. Um, you can delete that, by the way. You don't have to worry about that. Um, so we do have the replicated storage events, and I'm going to talk about that in a second here. I'm going to pause the video and just give you a better definition of how it is and this, which we're going to do. But um, let's go over the glow stick real quick and everything about it. So it's just like a tool like this. If you are wanting to change the size or anything like that, this is the main part with the handle. And yes, when you move it, it's going to have a trail. So that's why I did that, because when you dance, it's really cool. If you want to change this handle to anything else, like literally anything you can size it you can do whatever you want just do this scaling anything like that um literally anything guys it's all your choice and this is the trail color um but if you want them to be so if you want to set this to default different color just go right here different colors stuff like that don't touch anything else to be honest with you um and this is the gui so we're gonna go look at this this is the story gui now, it's weird because it's down here, but really when you play it, and I'll show you how, it goes all the way up to like right here and does an animation. It's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. It has pink, blue, red, green, orange, and white, um, and it's just pretty simple, pretty cool. Inside here, we have a scrolling frame, which is this thing right here with all the colors inside. Now, if you are changing, wanting to change things like this, you can do the background color. You can change this to white, anything, guys. That's, just work on that. It's pretty easy. Now, these are the different colors and everything like that. Now, normally, if you were to create a new one, which we're going to do, because I'm going to show you, you're going to duplicate it and move it down like that. And let's say we're going to do this as, uh, let's do, oh, what's a good color that I didn't do? Yellow. 
there we go, yellow. So that, I'm gonna name that button so I just get organized. And we go down here, we're gonna go that with the real text color, and we're gonna change it to yellow. Now we have that. So now it's yellow. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to go inside here and look at the local script. Now, this is how we're doing it. So these are remote events, and um, they're, they're in replicated storage, and I had to do it a different way because I thought it'd be easier because I just thought might as well just do multiple events of hand colors, handle colors, and just have them do that. So if you are adding a new one, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it, and we're going to name this yellow. So hand color yellow, like that, and there you go. Then since this is white, well, this one's yellow, we're going to go right here and go yellow. So what's going to happen is script.parent, mouse button on one click, so when it clicks the button, it's going to go to the game, and then it's going to go to replicated storage, which is right here, go to the folder of events, go to, and then find hand color yellow and fire the server. So fire that remote event. Once that happens, what we're going to do is we're going to close that, and we're actually going to move this back into the tool, because I'm going to show you. I'm going to put that in server storage. Now, once that happens, you're going to go back in here. Now, this is all the tool stuff. So, it's a lot of weird scripts. It's going to look weird to you, but I'm going to show you. It's really simple. So, we're going to grab yellow. So, we're going to do local start color um, yellow, like that. And normally, Roblox has this thing, or I don't know if it was a plugin. We'll see. You can just click this. So, I'm going to get yellow. So, that's my yellow. And then we're going to change this comment to yellow so you know. Now, we're going to go all the way down here to the end, copy all of that, and go like that, and name that yellow. Then we're going to go replicate storage. So now this is getting it where when the event gets fired, so now we're going to change this to yellow. So when they click it, oh, oh gosh, oh yeah, yellow dot on server event, okay. Connect function player. Now it's going to find the first player, the player with the tool, going to their handle, then it's going to the brick color, which is the color of the tool. So like the handle of it. And we're going to name this yellow. So let's go brick yellow. Bright yellow. Let's do bright yellow. That's kind of cool. And you can also, if you guys want, you can do color 3.new. And then just do one of these colors, the same thing. Um, but then we have this color trail sequence. This is the trail. So now if you guys are wanting, I'm going to show you real quick the weird thing about this. I had it because I was like, it might look cool, it'll be wetter, but it's it's a little weird. So we have color what yellow. So it's going to be start color yellow and end color. End color is with all of them. So end color, by the way, is white. So what's going to happen is when they move, the tool on this side is going to be yellow, and then it's going to be white at the end. So when they move, it's going to turn white at the end. And I thought it would look cool. If you want to change it, all you got to do is literally double this so control C and just control V like that, and you're totally fine. This is a color sequence. This is like making a gradient. And if you want to change the end color, so if you want to do a rainbow trail, you can um, change the end, end color to like something like purple or blue, and it will uh, you know go through that gradient type. Let's say that. So okay, so now we did everything. Just make sure yes, this is good. Now I didn't really explain the script, but we're grabbing the tool, the glow stick, which is the name of the glow stick. So don't change the glow stick if I forgot to tell you. That's that name, the exact same name. And these are the colors. These are the functions of all the colors and checking if it got fired. So there we go. And these are the events, like I said. These are the ones that are we're checking to see if they got fired. And why is this in service or service? This is because um, we want everyone in the lobby to see that you're changing your color. That's that's the main reason why. So let's play this, test it, and show you what I mean. Um, but yeah, if you guys like, feel free to like right now. Um, and uh, it means a lot to me, guys. Thank you. So open this. There we go. Now this is the default color, like I said, white. So now when I move, we got white like this. We'll fire it. So we got pink. Now see what I mean by it turns white at the end and it's purple? That's what I was trying to say. Now you got blue red and you see the color differences orange white yellow there you go guys now the only problem is i never really figured out the scrolling frame jazz where it's not letting me go farther you guys might have to extend this frame to go bigger but i keep forgetting or actually just sorry make the button smaller like make these things smaller but i didn't really give you guys too big of a resource on like 
how much to do or how many colors. I just kind of did a few colors because I want you guys to try, you know. The reason I do these videos is to teach you and also, like, for you to try it out yourself. This is I'm not trying to give it to you guys and not do it. But this is it, guys. Like I said, pretty simple. And there, see how the animations will load in and out? Pretty cool. I might make an updated version where you can just close it if you are wanting to just, like, have it where it's closed. Um... Let's see now. I'm trying to think how that would be easy because you could do a frame.visible equals false and then click it again and be frame.visible equals true. So that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so that's pretty it. That's pretty much it, you guys. No, as, like I said, I, there's no... Sorry, well, that's weird. These are crazy. Um, there's not really anything showing um, that the, vir the events were fired. But if you were to add a print like, oh, player chose, right. So if we were to go in here... And if you guys just want to see to make sure if it worked or not, just test it out yourself. But like, oh, then right in here in the if, you just say print and then say yellow was fired. And then we'll go back, play here. And then you can just see, you know, like, oh, it was fired. So, yeah, that's um pretty much it for you guys. Um, yeah. Let's see, yellow was fired. Now it printed pretty easy you guys um i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please feel free to subscribe comment like and share and um yeah you guys i'll see you guys in the next one and um yeah i'm trying to get as many videos out, out as possible guys i'm so sorry about that i have been super busy and like way too busy i mean like insanely busy so it kind of sucks but yeah um yeah you guys subscribe comment like and share and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.